okay today we are discussing with the chapter arithmetic progression very beginning that what is meant by a progression and what are the different types of progressions we can see progression is nothing but let us see 2 4 6 8 10 and so on 3 7 11 15 and so on 2 4 8 16 32 and so on if you observe these examples first example 2 4 6 8 10 that is next number is obtaining by adding a fixed number that is i added 2 plus 2 4 4 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 2 10 that is to the previous number i am adding a fixed number to generate the next number similarly in the second example 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 4 11 11 plus 4 equal to 15 that is next number is obtaining by adding a fixed number to its previous number <coughs> and let us come to third example 2 four that is 4 is multiply with 2 8 8 is multiply with 2 16 16 is multiply with 2 that is in these three examples example number 1 if you observe if you add a fixed number to its preceding number to get the next number example 2 is also same but example 3 you are multiplying a fixed number to its preceding number to generate the next number that is like such like such sequence are called progressions how many types of progressions are there first one a right arithmetic progressions number 2 geometric progressions number 3 harmonic progressions <coughs> but in this session we are discussing only with the arithmetic progressions geometric progressions and harmonic progressions we can study in our further classes now what is mean by arithmetic progressions we may, we can know in detail <coughs> arithmetic progression is a progression in which every term is obtained by adding by subtracting a fixed number to its preceding number once again i to repeat arithmetic progression is the progression in which every term is obtained by adding a fixed number by adding a fixed number to its preceding number then such a sequence is called arithmetic progression that is in arithmetic progression we can add a fixed number we can subtract a fixed number okay next that is the difference is maintaining throughout the question must be constant now let us see about the geometric progression and the harmonic progressions in our future classes okay now let us see about the arithmetic progression in detail in arithmetic progression first term is denoted with a and common difference 
is denoted with uh, D formula T2 minus T1. That is T2 means term 2, T1 means term 1. That is in some cases it can be mentioned as A2 minus A1 also. Now, first term T1 is represented with uh, A. Now, to represent T2 term 2 formula A plus D, to represent third term formula A plus 2D, to represent the fourth term the formula A plus 3D, that is if the fourth term 1 is reduced 4 minus 1 that is a 3 if it is a third term 3 minus 1 that is a 2 if it is a second term 2 minus 1 that is a 1 up to so on nth term tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d similarly which is called general term therefore general term tn is equal to formula a plus n minus 1 into d in one more way we can represent this one that is called t1 first term is equal to a t2 is equal to t1 plus d T3 is equal to T2 plus D that is a T3 means it is a preceding T2 T4 T3 plus D similarly if you follow Tn is equal to N it is a preceding term is Tn minus 1 plus D therefore for a D formula to find the D, Tn minus uh, Tn minus 1. That is common difference to find the common difference formula D is equal to Tn minus Tn minus 1. Here very beginning itself common difference formula T is equal to T2 minus T1 written. Okay, let us substitute in place of N2 that is d is equal to t2 minus 2 minus 1 that is a 1 that is a d is equal to t2 minus t1 this is a general formula to find the common difference